welcome back. To, uh, do a quick video to explain my experience at at the company at the company at the tattoo shop because I I really did enjoy it and they are really great guys. Um, I will definitely link both their instas. I'll link the artist who did mine and I'll also link their main one. So go check it out. Um, if you if you live around this way or well, I guess you live in that area, definitely recommend getting yourself booked in an appointment with one of the artists and. Yeah, they'll see what they can do for you because they're, they're really passionate and they really do enjoy what they're doing. We have uh, two or three artists in there. Uh, one's been there for about, uh, been tattooing for like five years. One's been about like seven, eight. And I'm not too sure on the other ones because I didn't get to actually chat to them. But the two that I did get to chat to were lovely. Um, I have something that's called GAD, which is Generalized Anxiety Disorder. So I struggle when it comes to certain situations I tend to overthink and over criticize and relive certain memories but when I walked in to the shop I have to say I actually felt really relaxed and really comfortable compared to other places where I've been I felt really nervous getting tattoos however when I walked into Mean Street I actually felt really comfortable kind of at home as soon as I got in there I was greeted with smiles um you know very calm very casual vibe offered refreshments while I waited and you know basically talked to me worked with me well and um, we had a look at the tattoo that I wanted ended up making it a bit smaller and changing some of the colors so right there and then instantly you know I was saying oh I want this and want this artist was lovely I was like okay we'll work with it we'll do it you know we played around a couple of colors a couple of sizes eventually figured out how it was going to go and I basically sat down waited when he was all ready I went over to um his like I guess you can call it workstation that he has sat down had a lovely conversation great guy this is the tattoo that I'll go I'll show it down hence the reason why I'm wearing a chill chill look so this is the tattoo now um it's still covered up and it's I have washed it so I did wash it as he advised me to and let it air dry then I rewrapped it like this for now, just to keep it in place because I move when I sleep, so I'm using plaster. Normally, you can just wrap it all the way up. I got very hard to see in this light, but there's a lot of like like light colors. So we've got some yellow and some green. There is some purple and pink. It's hard to see in this light, but there is. Um, there's also some blue in there. Uh, we kind of were playing around with how to do the spikes in the other, I guess you could say, little detailings on him. Uh, we've also got some planets in there, lovely colours, classic toy rocket, which I love, um, with the reds and the blues and the hint of, like, yellowy orange. It was, it was lovely. Um, so, I don't normally plug or shout out places, um, but for this time, I'm doing it. I am going to shout it out. No advertisement in the sense of being paid to do it. This is just... If you have any questions about um, how to take care of the tattoo or... You know, if you can go to the gym, for example, we'll do this and do that. They're very open and helpful with giving you the advice that I needed. So for me, um, I have another tattoo on my side here and one here. So I kind of have a rough idea of how it goes, but it's a little bit different with the legs. So I definitely asked how it was lovely. He was like, yeah, if you have any issues, just hit me up on Inst on like the Instagram and I can help you out. So that's what I've done. I hit him up about um, the bleeding of it. I was like, is it supposed to bleed a lot? Because last my last tattoos I have haven't really bled um, and this one did he said yeah no it's totally natural had a shower came back wrapped it up and I was concerned whether I was doing it too tight or too loose because you never want to wrap it up too tight because it can like pull on the tattoo and become irritated <laughs> and you never want to do it too loose so that it doesn't stick at all sent the screenshot over was like yo does this look okay do I need to you know do a tighter wrap this wrap and he said now nah, it looks good he's like you don't have to do the plus if you don't want to you can just wrap it round he also gave me instructions on how to take care of it after with the with the cling film so basically his instructions to me were cling film it today and tomorrow um especially since where i work i need to cling film it so i'll do that clean it at night don't put cling film on it leave it be and then on day three i should be able to go around without the cling film on which will be great. And basically, uh, that's it for this video. There isn't really much to say. I mean, it's more of like an update, I guess, of where I've been and what I've been doing. But that aside, there are more videos coming. I've actually seen Blackpink's got their new song out, Pink Venom. So I've heard the song. I'm not going to lie, but I haven't seen the video. So I will get back into checking that out at some point. 
my gaming channel is also up and running so if you do want to check that out you can as well that'll again be linked in the top corner for you to so go check that out um me and my friends have a great time playing destiny there are more videos to come with minecraft and a few other um friends of mine to put it politely but for now destiny's up there so if you're interested in that go check it out oh i know what i did forget to mention um i did actually get some sick stickers from there as well which i put on my backpack uh one was of a broken leg which one of the artists did apparently they like they broke like a part of their like a bone in their leg it's like duh you know instant story like i've seen this guy it's like a massive kind of like damn but no um and that was funny uh got some other little cool stickers here and there but overall 10 for 10 good experience and would definitely go back there again for my next tattoo when i get one i think that'll become one of my main places to go and maybe next time i can take you guys with me uh and yeah and you guys come along for the ride but other than that guys i'm gonna leave this, this like mini vlog here and basically check off for the night so i will see you guys when i see you bye guys so goodbye to us.